All right, so the next components we want to put in place are the servo mounts, uh, which is these guys. So we're going to start with the right-hand side. Now these are some of the trickier components to install. Um, but first I just want to point out, so if we look at the servo motors, um, you'll see that there are three wires. Uh, one's brown, one's red, one's orange. So brown is ground, red, red is power, and orange is signal. And we just want to make sure we line them up when we plug them in with the... Um, S plus and G on here so in other words the signal or the orange wire should always be uh, towards that end of the expansion board and the ground wire should be always towards this end okay so if we turn this over um, you'll see there are these um, plastic mounts which you can use sort of as guides for the wiring and there's a little notch there for this one as well so that should just sit in there uh, run down the side there and they all need to ultimately end up uh, down the side of this part here. So we'll just try and put them in place. And this last one just comes straight down. So once they are in place, you probably want to just keep a little bit of tension on them. And then this mounts on here like so. And you just want to Pop it into place, it should sit there quite nicely and this edge, both these edges should be flush. Alright, and then what we need to do is we need to plug in uh, these servo motors. So one of these wires will be notice noticeably shorter than the other. That's the servo, that's the servo motor here. And we need to plug that in to pin 2. So... We'll just sneak over here, and there we go, pin 2, I haven't pushed that all the way on yet, um, they can be quite tricky to uh, take off once you've got them on there, um, so it's a good idea maybe just put it on lightly for starters, and then maybe um, connect power to the device and just check uh, that you've got everything wired up properly first. Um, before you push those into place properly. So the next shortest one is uh, this servo motor here and that needs to go to pin 3. Again making sure the orange wires are on this side of it and then uh, this third one which is for this servo motor which is actually the one used for soft resetting that needs to go to pin 6, or pin D6, they're actually labelled. Alright, uh, don't worry about the wires too much now, we'll sort of squash them out of the way um, when we put the cover on here. So that's the right hand side done, now we need to move on to the left hand side. Okay, so here's the left hand side, only two motors on this side, um, same sort of idea, if we turn it over, there are, there are basically some guides, uh, these plastic components for where uh, the wires should be running, so that needs to come down the inside of there, and again, we basically want to get these so they poke down, whoops, around the end there. And we'll just put a little bit of tension on there to get that in place properly. Yep, okay. And same sort of thing, he just mounts in place here. And we'll just make sure those edges are flush. Alright, and we need to plug these pins in as well. Uh, so the shorter one, which is this servo motor. That needs to go to pin 8, which is that one there, and this one here needs to go to pin 7, again making sure the orange wire is at the top. Alright. And the only thing left to do is to uh, screw these in place. So actually we need to do that for both of these. The screw holes 
here and here and here and here and we're just going to be using these little black flathead screws for those Alrighty, so that's everything there in place. Um, all the plugs lined up, they should look like this with two here together, a gap, and then three of them together. Um, and these I've done not too tightly because there's, um, this is plastic of course, um, but tight enough to hold that in place. And then later what we're going to do is go through and uh, tighten up these screws on the bottom to get everything firmly in place. So we're nearly there, um, the next thing we're going to put in is the light sensor. 